All right, so it's been about a month of me playing Rainbow Six Siege, and I am now level 65, and you all have to listen to me now. I'm kidding. I'm sure if you guys have been playing Rainbow Six Siege for more than a month, you're smarter than me and have a better gauge of what the game needs and doesn't need. And besides, the comment section on a video is always smarter than the video itself, right? But the gameplay you're seeing here is not me playing as Tachanka, even though this video is about how I want Tachanka buffed. I don't use Tachanka. Okay, I'm not saying he's useless, I'm not saying he's bad, but in terms of his weaponry, other than his mountable LMG, I would much rather just use Capcan. I think Capcan is a much bigger asset to your team, and although setting up Tachanka's LMG in a room and then getting peeked is one of the most satisfying things ever because they, you know, they peek into the room, they see the LMG, they see Tachanka's badass sitting at the LMG, and their number's pretty much punched. Other than that, there is not much utility, and when I see people use Tachanka's LMG, it just doesn't seem worth it. See, me as a new player, a relatively new player, I want to get good at quick peeks and one-tapping and spawn peeking. I want to get good at the movement of the game. I want to get better with maneuvering and, and peeking and one-tapping people, and sitting in a corner with an LMG I'm sorry, it doesn't seem like the most useful thing. I know his face shield can save your life, and I know his LMG can take a lot of lives. But when you compare it to all of the other defensive operators that can really help stifle attackers, I don't think mountable LMG is at the top of the list. If the LMG automatically fired, maybe it'd be better, but that's not the buff I'm proposing. The LMG needs some sort of specific utility that makes it worth using over other weapons. Obviously it has the face shield, but most good players at the game don't need a face shield and can use better weapons, and can get into more interesting positions and flank their opponents as they enter the building. So yeah, it's not that useful. So let's talk about the time to kill in Rainbow Six Siege. The time to kill in Rainbow Six Siege can be so fast it puts Call of Duty and Counter-Strike to shame. One tapping people in Rainbow Six Siege happens a lot. Dying faster than you can react, just being taken out of the match before you can think happens all the time in Siege. So, what is the one thing that slows down the time to kill? Well, other than fighting over healed docks, it's shield operators. When a shield operator enters a room, shit is about to get rough. This shield operator will distract you, draw your fire, potentially kill you by hip firing around their shield, and usually, when you're looking at a shield operator, they're probably going to be having a teammate peek over their shield from somewhere else and kill the people looking at it. It's not unlikely to see an Ash or a Dokubi peeking around Montang's shield as he pushes slowly down a hallway. Now obviously there's nitro cells, they're shooting the floor out from under him, there's impact grenades, and I'm not saying that they're overpowered in any way, but they slow down the game and they change the way you have to think. I have won games because of shield operators, and I have lost games because of shield operators, because sometimes shield operators are the only thing keeping you from winning a certain gunfight. Now sometimes you hear them coming, you get behind them, shoot them in the back with a shotgun, they're done, but whatever. I'm not saying they're overpowered in any way, I'm not saying that they need to be nerfed. But the Chonka's LMG needs a buff. And what if, after about 10, to 15 rounds, maybe less, maybe more than that, his LMG starts to shoot through shields and starts punching holes in Montang shield, Blitz's shield, Fuse's shield, and Recruit shields. What if Tachanka's LMG was the only weapon in the game that could punch through these shields? If you're going up against a team that whenever they're attacking they have a Montane or a Blitz and they're really good with them, Tachanka would be a great counter. Put them in a hallway, put them in a corner of a room, so if a shield operator enters, they immediately get the shit scared out of them by his LMG. Their shield starts getting hit, and they know if it takes a certain number of hits, the bullets will start ripping through. Another way to go about this would be to make it so Tachanka's LMG can pop out the transparent plexiglass-like material that you can see through on the shields, you know, the little piece of glass you can see through when you're using the shields. What if Tachanka's LMG could wear that down as if it was Blackbeard's face shield? Maybe even the pre-nerf 
face shield for Blackbeard. So you can start hitting it, and then it would break, and then suddenly the shield operator is vulnerable to headshots. I think Tachanka would have a much higher pick rate if there was something he actively countered. Now again, I'm not saying Tachanka is bad, I'm not saying he's useless or that you can't do well with him. But there's a reason I don't pick him. I don't feel like I'm providing any useful utility to my team. At least not as useful as Goo Mines, Grismont Mines, Welcome Mats, Jaeger's ADSs, or Bandit's Electrical Wire. That, to me, is way more practical, way more useful, and not to mention Mira. Mira has won me more games than ever, and that's probably because my friend is really good with Mira, but Mira is just way more useful. So, there is a good combination. If you can uh, find a way to set up a Tachanka LMG that looks through a Mira shield or a Mira window, and then the Tachanka LMG can just pop open the window, has the face shield for protection, and can gun people down. I've seen that work a couple times, but it's rare, it's kind of finicky, and so I would say, even though yes, you might get some kills with his LMG, and even though yes, you might throw off some attacking operators, I honestly think Tachanka needs something he actively counters. And he doesn't counter everything. I think the Lord Tachanka meme has a hidden irony, because everyone kind of knows he's not really the lord of anything, he's not really that good. It's He's kind of one of the more useless operators to a lot of people, and that's what kind of makes the meme funny. Who should I go as? Oh, go as Lord Tachanka! It's kind of the same thing as when you're on hostage, and the person's like, who should I go as? And you go, oh, go Fuse. It's the same kind of meme. It's not really useful, please don't go Fuse, is what they're really saying. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do I suck? Am I stupid? Is this a bad idea? Do you have a better idea on how to buff Tachanka? Let me know in the comment section below. I see a lot of people asking about Tachanka buffs in the comment sections of other YouTube videos. I see a lot of people talking about how they want him changed, and now that they're adding these two new very powerful attacking operators, I feel like the defending side could use a little bit more love. So. That's something else they can counter. They can now counter shields with the Chonka's LMG. I think that'd be a good idea. Let me know what you think. I'll see you when I see ya. Goodbye. I don't know what spawn thinking, but I didn't even peek. He got a headshot on me. All the way across the map and hit me in the head. Huh? Restored, did, you, did you not play some of the cams? Or they all destroyed already? No, I placed one. Hey, I damn, damn it. it. One on four remaining. Damn it, piss. Who's left? Blitz! Oh! <laughs> Diggle, all these bitches! Dude, Diggle so hard to headshot with you. Just like a dome with your last shot. I'm proud of you. I can, I can never do that, bro. Oh! <laughs> with good the job. Deagle. Fuck everybody who says that I'm not good with the Diggle. <laughs> You're not that good. You just got a lucky shot. <laughs>